Are you looking for the next craft beer to try? Well, maybe Field to Ferment Citra from Fermount Brewing is the one for you. Welcome back everybody. So we are gonna try the Citra version of this. I am a big Citra fan. Thank you to Happy Trails to Brew for sending this in the beer, beer mail. So let's go ahead and get it into a glass. This is 6% ABV and 50 IBU, just like um, the Mosaic, or Simcoe, sorry. Uh, I think the canned on date is the same. The cans look identical. It's just the bottom of it does have what it is. And this one says 9 2018 Citra on it. I think the other one, I'm going to grab it. Oops. Um, so the Simcoe was 9 17 2018 and the Citra is 9 20 2018. So we do have a white head. I think the Simcoe had a little darker head. Uh, all small bubbles. I'm, I'm starting to get some peaks and valleys where the Simcoe I was getting more at this point. About a half a finger of head. Bubbles on the side are compact like disc soap. If we look at the color, I would say golden in color. Uh, clear, I can see the light through it. Uh, yeast and protein floating, no bubbles at all coming up. Let's go ahead and get a smell. A little bit more fruity and some citrus. The fruitiness really stands out. Generic tropical fruit is what I would say with an undertone of citrus. And some pine. Yeah, a little bit of pine under there, but that fruit really, to me, sticks out. It's not an overwhelming. It's almost like, my guess is they made the basic brew and then dry hopped with citrus or citra, uh, Centennial, and Simcoe is what I'm thinking because it's, it, it's very mellow. It's not a big smell. Um, you do smell a tiny bit of the malt, but in this one, I do get more fruitiness out of it. Let's go ahead and take a drink. This one does definitely taste different than the other one. I hope they are making the same batch and just using the different hops in them. That's what I'm gonna go with. I'm pretty sure uh, Happy Trails to Brew did put out a video of all three of them. I haven't watched it because usually I wanna try them for myself before I watch somebody else do them. Definitely way different. <clears throat> to me, this one has like a spicy note, almost more like it was made with Chinook hops than Citra. It's like a, a watered down fruit punch with a little bit of yeast, then like a tiny bit of spice in the back. And again, I'm going from uh, the Simcoe to this in the same day. This one is a little bit more laid back. It's, yeah, I'm gonna stick with like a watered down fruit punch with a tiny bit of yeast and some like spice at the end. Then it's pretty much gone. Aftertaste is like that generic, very low tropical fruit. Not a bad beer. Yeah, definitely a medium bodied beer. See, it, it, it's hard to rate. For 
this one versus the Simcoe, I would probably have to push this one up a little bit more because it doesn't have that sweet malt in it. I would go a 4.25, but based on the beer and what I like, I would still go a 4. I do like that Simcoe version for different reasons than I like this. I just don't think those Citra hops shine as much. Uh, using them to brew, I get a different taste in a lot of my Citra beers than I do this one. And again, I'm just guessing they use the same base than just change the hops. This one is a lot more mellow than like the Simcoe one or a regular Citra IPA. Yeah, so based on overall, I would go a four just like the Simcoe one. But as far as this beer versus the Simcoe beer, I would go a 4.25 out of five. I think this one is better this, than the Simcoe just because I don't like those that malty taste in there. But overall, it's okay. I don't think the Citra is shining as much as it could in this. But again, I don't know how they're making it. So let's look on Untapped. One of my friends have had this average 4.5 out of 5. Uh, a little over 4,000 people have had this average 4.07 out of 5. Uh, Nathan did say uh, really tasty, very drinkable. Yes, it is. Again, just like the Simcoe version, this is a good summer, just relaxing beer. Um you're not getting that alcohol for 6% and 50 IBUs. It really doesn't drink like 50 IBUs. Uh, it, it's just like, okay, pick up a four or a six pack, a 12 pack. I don't know what they come in, uh, but just drink it throughout the day or somebody coming over that's not that big into craft beer. I could see giving them this. It's, it's probably... It's better than, you know, the national beers. But it, the burping and the non-carb, I don't know where that's coming from. But, um, yeah, definitely a good mow your lawn, sit by the pool, watch football, watch basketball kind of beer. <clears throat> um, let's see if anybody else said anything. Modest citrus and fruit, I agree with. Thank you to Happy Trails to Brew for sending this. If you like this video, hit the thumbs up. If you don't, hit the thumbs down. Make sure you subscribe. It doesn't cost anything. Hit that bell so you know when new reviews, videos are coming out. And until next time, happy brewing.